What's happening, everyone? I am trying a new, I guess, coffee preparation product. It's uh, Wakako's uh, Pipa Mocha or Pipa Mocha. <laughs> Anyways, it's a hot coffee, uh, basically sort of like French press brew. Um, I tried their other product, Mini Presso. It's a travel making your own espresso, which is pretty phenomenal. You get crema on the top and everything. But that one is that, but I'm trying this one today. So, <clears throat> um, basically, I got the grinds in here. So this goes on the very, very top. And then I'm going to dump my water in here. So I'm going to go for about, let's say, just a three-quarter cup. So I'm just waiting for it to fill all the way to the top. So it's kind of it's kind of cool because it has a little lines where you it tells you where to stop. So right there is three quarter of a cup of coffee. So there, I get the pot and I just drop it in there. So hopefully I won't burn myself. There it goes. So it say the instruction says it takes about forty seconds for it to drop all the way down uh, to the very very bottom. So, as you can see, there's bubbles coming up um, as it's dropping down. And I believe the instructions are, yeah, so once it gets to the bottom, which is about 40 seconds, then you got to give it a tap, tap, tap. And I'm assuming that's to get all the air out so that you don't have any air in the very, very bottom. So, it's still going. Um, all right, so the pod went to the bottom. I've been kind of tapping it. There's no more air bubbles. So, now I'm going to close it. So there, and then now what you do is, so it's the pot at the bottom and then, no, you go clockwise, yeah, clockwise. So now <clears throat> I just twist this like this and it is making the coffee as I'm twisting. So, you know, all right, so I've twisted it completely and so now I can pull it off and voila, you have the coffee. And actually, it's pretty clean. I thought it'd be really, really dirty, but it's not. Try it. And Please test. Well, the, the nice, the reason why I got this is because now once it's brewed, you can, um, what you do is you take this lid off and that becomes a lid. So you screw this on and it's supposed to be hot for two to three hours at a time, which is pretty awesome because then you can have hot coffee if you can't drink it all right away. All right. But give it a test. Ooh, it's hot. That's pretty darn good. I'm, I'm more of an espresso type of guy, but that's pretty darn good. As you can see, maybe more it's beans hot. next time since you like it strong. Yeah, maybe a little more beans, but that was pretty darn good. And then now I can go film the boys or go take this and then I have hot coffee in about two hours.